what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question which says find the values of x and y for which x plus y is equal to 10 and x y is equal to 50. well since we have two equations here we can call the first one equation one and call the second one equation two so our first step will be for us to choose from equation one so we can say from equation one i'm going to make x the subject by moving y to the right hand side and in order to do that i'll subtract y from both sides so from equation one i have x plus y to be equal to 10. Now subtract y from both sides. So subtracting y, we have x here. y minus y cancels out equal to 10 minus y. So 10 minus y. So we've already got equation 1 and 2. So we can easily call this equation 3. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to substitute equation 3 in terms of y in equation 2. So we can say put equation 3 in 2. For equation 2, I have x, and I know that equation 3, x is 10 minus y. So I'm going to be putting that in place of x. So x is 10 minus y. So that's x times y. So times y. This is equal to 50. Now our next step will be for us to open up the bracket. So 10 times y. That's 10y. Minus y times y is y squared. And this is equal to 50. Very good. Now notice that this is a quadratic equation. So our next step will be for us to move 50 to the left hand side. And in order to do that, we subtract 50 from both sides. So subtracting 50, we have this is 10y minus y squared and then minus 50 this is equal to 50 minus 50 cancels out so we have zero and now rearranging this quadratic equation we have negative y squared so negative y squared plus 10y plus 10y and then minus 50 equal to zero now, I would like to make this first term, which is y squared, to be positive. And in order to do that, I'll multiply through by negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative y squared makes it positive y squared. Negative 1 times 10y makes it negative 10y. And then negative 1 times negative 50 make it positive 50 and this is equal to zero now let's solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula and before we do that we need to know what our a is our a is the coefficient of y squared and that's one our b is the coefficient of y and that's negative 10 and our c is the constant term which is 50 and since we're looking for y i'm going to be using the quadratic formula as y equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now let's substitute into our quadratic formula so we have y to be equal to 
this is negative b b is negative 10 so i'm going to be putting that here negative 10 plus or minus the square root of b squared remember b is negative 10 squared minus 4 times a times c so 4 times a a is 1 times c c is 50 very good now all over 2 times a 2 times a a is 1 and now simplifying further we have y to be equal to negative times negative makes this to be positive 10 plus or minus the square root of negative 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times 1 times 50 is 200 all over 2 times 1 is 2 so this becomes y equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 200 is surely negative 100 all over 2 now our next step will be for us to simplify negative 100 so we have y to be equal to this is 10 plus or minus now the square root of negative 100 is same as 100 times negative 1 all over 2 and as we all know whenever I have a square root of a times b this can be separated as the square root of a times the square root of b we're going to do that here so this becomes y equal to 10 plus or minus we'll write this as the square root of 100 times the square root of negative 1 all over the denominator which is 2 and we all know that the square root of 100 is actually 10 and the square root of negative 1 is i so this means 10 times i results to 10i so we're going to have y to be equal to this is 10 plus or minus we've got 10i from here so 10i all over the denominator which is 2 and now our next step will be for us to factor out 10 since 10 is common on the numerator so we have y to be equal to factor out 10 open bracket so 10 divided by 10 is 1 plus or minus 10i divided by 10 is i and close bracket all over 2 and now we can simplify further 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 10 divided by 2 is 5 making the value of y to be 5 times 1 plus or minus i well we may want to open up the brackets and if we do that we have it to be 5 times 1 is 5 plus or minus 5 times 1 is 5i very good so there are actually two values of y from here of which the first one is 5 plus we'll go with the plus 5i and then the second one is 5 this time go with a minus minus 5i very good so now let's find the corresponding values of x to find the corresponding value of x we have to recall that from equation 3 remember from equation 3 we have x to be equal to 10 minus y so we're going to be substituting values of y here 
to get corresponding value of x. So let's start with the first one, when y, which is the first y, is equal to 5 plus 5i. So this becomes x. So this time I'm going to be putting x1 here to be equal to 10 minus y. And what is y? y is 5 plus 5i. Let's open up the bracket using this negative outside. So we have x to be 10 minus times 5 is minus 5. The minus times plus is minus, and then 5i. And then simplifying further, you get the corresponding value of x to be 10 minus 5 is 5, and then minus 5i. Very good. Now, let's take when y, which is the second value of y, is 5 minus 5i. Then substituting here, we get x, which is the corresponding value of x, to be equal to 10 minus y. What is our y? Our y is 5 minus 5i. Very good. Now open up, opening up the bracket using the negative outside, we have corresponding value of x to be 10, now minus 5, and then minus times minus is plus 5i. So this becomes x equal to 10 minus 5 is 5 plus 5i. So the values we've got for x and y, which the question requires us to find, are when x is 5 minus 5i, the corresponding value of y is 5 plus 5i. And when x is 5 plus 5i, so 5 plus 5i, the corresponding value of y is 5 minus 5i. So these are our correct answer. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.